Hi guys, it's Kat. Today, I'm showing you how I built the bifold style sliding doors on my huge dollhouse. These add such a modern touch to the house and allow so much light into the bedroom. I'm also a huge fan of functional minis, so the fact that these slide back and forth and fold together is just a cherry on top. Before we build the actual doors, let's make some rails for the sliding door mechanism. For the wood version, I grab popsicle sticks and cut off the rounded ends. Cut two of these and glue them together. Then grab two thin 1 8 of an inch thick square dowels and glue them to the side of the popsicle stick. You'll want one on each side. This will leave a groove in the center for where the doors will slide. I'll actually be 3D printing my rails because I want the precision of a 3D model design and because I'll need several feet of these rails. I just create a long rectangle and then cut out a thin channel in the center. Once it's printed, simply glue your rails across the entire area you want your sliding doors. I use JB Well as my glue because I need a super strong hold for this. While that cures, let's build a frame all the doors will sit inside of. I take some quarter inch thick square dowels and make a bracket shape. The top section needs to be long enough to reach across the entire area where the doors will be so you might need to glue a few dowels together. Then I paint the frame black and glue it in place. Next up are the door frames. You can easily build these by gluing together 1 8 of an inch thick square dowels. They're so versatile. But I decided to 3D model these as well because I need 6 of them that are exactly the same size. And it's much easier to get precise duplicates through printing. The little orange nubs here is the hinge that will sit inside the rail channel we built in the beginning. If you were to build these from wood, I would just cut a section of a toothpick and glue it on. Once printed, here are the little nubs. They're so tiny and barely noticeable. These individual door panels will be hinged together in two sets of three. Place two door frames together with the nubs on the outer sides. I'll be using these tiny dollhouse hinges for the folding mechanism. Again, I attach them with JB Weld because it's great for plastic and metal parts. It takes several hours to cure, but it's well worth the wait to know your bond is super secure. Once the first two doors are hinged, flip it over so the hinges are facing down. Then I grab another door and place it on the left side. Don't worry about the nub position on this one, we'll be cutting them off on this last door. Glue on three more hinges. For the look of glass inside these sliding doors, I'll be using clear plastic sheets. These are flexible but you can also use hard acrylic. I just trace the inside perimeter of a door to get the measurements I need. This thin plastic snaps really easily once you score both sides with a utility knife. Measure, score, snap. Repeat until you have 6 of these. To install them, I made these super thin rectangles that also match the inner perimeter of the door. You can 3D print these, cut them out of cardstock, or even use thin plastic packaging. They just need to be sturdy enough to hold their shape. I insert one inside the frame with glue and place the glass on top. Once you peel off the protective film, this plastic is super clear. Then finish it off with another one of these rectangles. Think of them as the trim that holds the glass in place. Do this for every door.
Here are the two sets of doors. Remember when I said the last door didn't need nubs? Just snip them off if you haven't already. This is how the doors will fold up and pull out. They will sit inside the bottom rails we installed in the beginning with the little nubs on the bottoms and tops of the doors. Now let's create the top rail to secure these doors in place. This is a quarter inch thick square dowel that's the same length as the bottom rail. I create a few more of the rails and glue them to the dowel with JB Weld. Then paint the entire thing black and place it along the top of the doors. Once that's in, you're nearly done. The doors are fully functional and add such character to the space. These will be the doors that lead from the master bedroom out to the balcony. To make sure that the top rail is securely in place, I'm going to add a bit more reinforcement to the top. I cut a few short lengths from 1 8 of an inch square dowels and glue them to the top open space above the doors. Make sure to glue one end to the top of the rail and the other end to the ceiling. Then cut some acrylic panels to size and glue them behind those dowels. One last step that's completely optional. I designed a simple yet modern door pole that gives these doors a finished look. It's just 3D printed and attached to the center doors with JB Well Epoxy. I've made door handles in previous projects with wire and wood, so check those out for more options. And that's it. These modern bifold sliding glass doors are all done. I hope you like this video and check out my channel for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.